Yo, what's good guys? Today is another non-video, I guess, so I apologize for that, but I'm trying to keep to almost daily uploads. In January, I did pretty much daily uploads, and February, it's kind of gone to shit. I've tried to make a couple of videos, and they all just turned out shit. I didn't like how any of them went. I really haven't been feeling good since I started drinking again, and, you know, that's exactly why. It's because I've been drinking again, and I've been thinking about it, and I can't fucking stop thinking about it, and... I don't know, my brain's just kind of been all over the place. I've been feeling down, um, just physically tired, run down, all that shit. Like, you can see the physical rundownness. I've got cold sores and they look fucking horrible in videos. So that's been kind of making me not want to make videos. While at the same time, still wanting to make videos all the time. My brain's going, I should be making videos right now. I've got so many ideas, like so much stuff that I can do, but everything just seems to be turning out shit. So I guess this video is just gonna be a little rant, but <laughs> it's a video nonetheless. I've come to the conclusion and I've known this for a very, very long time, but I've just been kidding myself and I'm gonna continue to carry on kidding myself for just a little bit longer to see if this works or not. So what I've decided is I, just can't drink, full stop, just can't do it. I can't drink at home. I can't drink when I'm at work. You know, I can't drink casually. I just can't do it. it it's just literally gotta be all or nothing. And I can't have it that way. I can semi control it in a way like at home since I started drinking again. That box of 24 buds that I got for my birthday, I've had four of them. They're literally all still there. I've drank four, so I know I can control myself. <laughs> Go win, sorry. <laughs> but that's not the point. Like, I just, I can't, I can't have them there. When I'm at work, obviously I can control myself because I need to. I can't be drunk when I'm on the job, so I never get drunk. But once I start, I can't stop, so, you know, I, if I have one pint, I will just keep going until the end of my shift and then I'll go home. I can't, you know, I make it so that I don't have a beer until halfway through my shift so that I know I can fit three in. And, you know, if one of them takes me longer to drink and I've got like 10 minutes before I finish my shift, I will still make sure I get that third one and then I'll just down it and fuck off. And I always feel like shit after doing that. So I don't know why I do it, but I just have to do it. Cause if I don't do it, then I'm just gonna be craving it all night. So yeah, here we are. We all know how this is gonna end. I just need to stop, but I'm not gonna stop yet because I just can't, just can't do it to myself yet. You know, I, I've just got this fear of missing out, fear of not being able to have beer ever, ever again. So no alcohol in the house is the first point of call. No drinking at work is the second point of call. And very soon at the end of February, we're going back to the whole Brewdog bar, which I'm really looking forward to. Like, I can't wait to get a pint of Blackheart and play the arcade machines. It's gonna be so fun. You know, and I, I don't wanna have to miss out on that because I can't ever drink again. So I'm, I'm still gonna do that. And there's like a little cafe in the town where I live that gets craft beers in once a month. And I like to try those and it's fun. You know, I love it in there. We go and we have fun and we drink a bit. And then we come home. So I'm gonna see if I can just drink when we go out, which maybe I will, maybe I won't, but that's the next step in this mission, I guess, um, just to see if I can. And then once I fail at that, which I know I will, then I can finally punch myself in the face hard enough and say, just fucking stop. But for some reason in my stupid little brain, I need to take the long way around to get to the conclusion that I already know where I am. So, you know, it's bugging me. And it's getting to me all the time. And I know that I need to not drink because I've noticed, especially, you know, all the things that they say that stoners are, you know, you smoke weed and you become lazy and unmotivated and ruin your life, you know, that 
is how I feel about beer basically like since when I wasn't drinking in January I had a video almost every day like I came home filmed a video edited the video and put it up and it was fine and I was getting good sleep and I was waking up at pretty much the same time wasn't having any trouble sleeping and now that I've been drinking again consistently I'm lazy I'm unmotivated I don't want to do anything you know all I want to do is sleep all the time but I can't sleep my sleep's broken I keep waking up at stupid hours in the morning 4 a.m. specifically for some fucking reason and then I can't get back to sleep um just fat lazy unmotivated feeling like shit depressed and it's because of beer it's because of alcohol that's what it is so I, I it doesn't make sense in my brain why I'm so fucking addicted to beer when I can stand here openly and talk to myself about it and say you're a fucking idiot you don't need it you know you don't need it you've done it before you don't have to have it you know that if you don't have it you'll be absolutely fine and nothing's gonna happen you know that alcohol free beer is absolutely fine and you don't mind it one bit towards the end of dry january alcohol free beer was starting to taste like regular beer i feel like fucking james acaster on uh, this is maybe quite niche but you know off menu podcast where he tells his story about not drinking regular coke for four years and then having a diet coke and it tasted like exactly like um regular coke maybe beer was starting to do that to me you know i didn't have a beer for a month and then regular beer was starting uh sorry alcohol free i nearly said diet beer then that's not what i meant alcohol free beer is starting to taste like regular beer and you know now i'm now i'm just back to where i was before um not as bad because I'm catching myself doing it now, but I'm, I, the fact that I know that I'm doing it doesn't stop me from doing it. It just makes me feel worse because I know that I'm doing it and I know that I shouldn't be doing it, but I just go ahead and fucking do it anyway. So starting tomorrow, Saturday, Saturday the 17th of February. No more, just, you know, no more drinking in the house, no more drinking at work, no nothing, no guest ale, no fucking <sighs> just no nothing it hurts me to say no guest ale because I like it but um, I just can't trust myself I haven't been drinking just the shitty generic lagers at work I've been drinking the IPA that we've got on draft which nobody else has justifying it in my brain to be like well you know this is not just a generic lager that I'm drinking because no other pub where I am has this, so, you know, this is a treat in a way, but it's not a treat because you can buy it in shops. It's not a fucking treat. It's not one of those beers that you have to go online to the brewery and specifically buy it from there and it costs a lot of money and it's a treat. It's not. It's just a normal fucking beer, so just no more of that. No more. Just no fucking more, bro. I'm so tired of it. By this point, halfway through February, I wanted to be on a routine and doing shit right. And I'm just... I'm not, I'm back to square one and I don't fucking need it. I was doing so well and I, I just noticed myself not making videos because I've been drinking at work and then I come home and I try and make the video and I don't like how the video is because it feels like I'm slurring in it and I'm, I watch the video back and I'm not, but I still just don't like the video because it just ends up being shit. Yeah, just no, I just don't want to do it anymore. It's, it's affecting every part of me. And I know that I can be better without it. But I guess that's what fucking addiction is. It's that you know that you don't need it and you don't fucking want it, but you still do it anyway. And while you're doing it, you don't want to do it. You know, whilst you're in the middle of doing whatever your addiction is, you know, fucking drinking a beer, I'm sat there thinking, this is shit. I don't want this. This tastes like shit. It's not making me feel good. In fact, it's making me feel terrible. It's making me feel anxious. I don't want this, so... Again, I know where I'm going to end up, but I, I feel like I need to take this step for myself anyway, so no drinking until I go to the Brewdog Bar in Hull with my friends, and hopefully everything will be okay from there. 
hopefully I can get to the point where I can just go to bars with my friends and have like two or three beers and be able to enjoy it and not feel the need every single second of every single day to have a beer. I don't know how many of these videos I'm gonna make. Uh, I said this when I first made the Dry January ones, uh, this might continue to be an ongoing saga and apparently it is gonna be an ongoing saga. So sorry that there's no smoking video today, but I just, I don't feel like it. That's a lie, I do feel like it. I do wanna make a video. But just in myself, I feel like the video, I don't, I, it's so weird, like I've got the motivation and I want to do it, but everything that I make is just fucking shit, so I guess um, this is today. It is currently, it's only the morning, it is 20 past 11 currently, I don't know if you can see that. So the rest of the day is still to come. Maybe I will end up making a video this afternoon, a smoking video. But I needed to get this off my chest now, because it's just what I've been thinking about for the past two weeks. You know, I thought the whole month of dry January was bad, but towards the end of it, I was starting to feel really good about it. And then just as I was starting to feel good, I started drinking again, and now I feel like shit. So I need to go through the entire process again. Back to square one, which not only is that annoying, but it's also demotivating to have to go through it all again to get back to where I was and to start feeling good again. So while it's not going to be a full two weeks without booze, it's going to be like a week and two days, something like that. And then I get to go to the bar on whatever day it is, Wednesday, I think. So we'll just get to see how that goes. I guess we'll see. This is part of the process, I guess, is admitting it and then fucking up and then learning a little bit more about yourself. And I guess that's all I've done. So on to the next step. Sorry if you found this video boring. Sorry if you weren't expecting it. Um, also, sorry about fucking not yesterday's video, I quite liked yesterday's video, the smoke sesh. The, the Al Capone Twilight, I think I might remake that because honestly it was shit. This is, I made, that's one of those videos that I made where um, I was feeling like I do today. And I, I, I pushed through it and I still made that video even though I wanted to but I didn't really want to. And I think that kind of reflects in how it turned out. So um, I think I might end up deleting that and remaking it at some point because I, I don't like that video but again it's all part of the process so uh yeah hopefully you're having a better day than me I'm not having a bad day I just kind of woke up with the niggling fuck this shit I'm done kind of feeling so uh yeah onwards and upwards and all that good shit peace